Hey you guys, what's going on? It's Teenage Night, and I am back for week four of Riker Sterling's sophomore season. Last week we played Tennessee, and uh, didn't go too well. We ended up losing that game, I think, 52-45 to in overtime, because I fumbled the ball, like, inside the 10-yard line. But we do have to move on and play Tulsa this week, and I want to see Tulsa's schedule to see who they've beaten. But yeah, we did lose 45-52, as you guys probably remember. And then Colorado State beat, or no, Tulsa's 2-0, oh, okay. They beat Colorado State in FCS West, and now they have to play us. We did only drop to number eight. I think we were four whenever we lost to um, Tennessee, so it's not a big deal. But I'm finally over, or almost over, being sick. That's why there has not been a whole lot of content over these past couple weeks. Is like my allergies have been killing me because the stupid Oklahoma weather, where where it will be like 70 degrees one day and then 50 the next. And it's just like going all over the place. But anyway, number one is Notre Dame. Number two, Florida State. Then USC. Mississippi State jumped from nine to four after beating Auburn, who was ranked number six. And then Oregon jumped from seven to five. Georgia Tech, 10 to six. Arizona, 11 to seven. We dropped from four to eight. LSU from 12 to nine. And then Texas dropped from five to 10 after they lost to UCLA, who was only ranked 11 now. Why are they still... Okay, in this situation, I feel like UCLA should be above Texas because they just beat them. But BCS system... or That's not even the BCS system at that point. That's just the... Uh, is that the coaches poll? So the coaches decided that. I mean, the game technically decided it, but yeah, it's the coaches poll. Whatever. Also, if my voice still does sound a little bit different, it is because, like I said, I'm almost over being sick. Hopefully it doesn't flare back up because I was almost over it like probably a week and a half ago and then it just came back because it wanted to but do we have any good skill upgrades that we can get before we jump into this game crow hop and that's a lot that's, that's quite a bit for just a couple jump we do need release is i want to is release like how fast you get rid of the ball doesn't matter we're gonna get it anyway just in case it is well let's go ahead and play this game against tulsa oh god it's at tulsa that's kind of weird Okay, so the reason I said it was weird that we're in Tulsa is because they're kind of a small stadium. I know OU went there in real life, but I thought it was weird then. Okay, so we are going to get the ball first, and let's see if we can come out strong today. Now, last season we played these guys, and I committed like seven turnovers, right? And that's my phone going off. So, sorry about that, but um, I'll, I'll get to that message here in a second. But first and ten inch shotgun, some AJ Piron in the backfield, along with Joe Mixon, and we're just going to depth that off to Piron. Wide open, truck through that defender. There you go. First down, Samaje. All the way down to the 40-yard line. 13-yard gain. Don't we play Tulsa coming up this next season? I don't know, but I'm kind of excited to see Mixon and Piran against Tulsa. Might be interesting. First and 10, send Piran in motion. Westbrook's going to be the one going deep. Uh, never mind, he's not open. So we're going to find Makai quick for about a 9-yard gain. Second and 1, 5 and a half minutes to go. Good start so far. And I know in these uh, newer kind of style of commentary where I'm just talking throughout the entire video, I seem to go all over the place. If you ever, like, actually sat down and had a conversation with me in real life, I'm just like that. Like, I will go from one topic to the next. But on second and one to Jeffrey Mead, 16-yard game. So I don't change, like, the way I'm talking. I just, I just talk like that. I go from topic to topic. We even do that on the podcast sometimes. It's like, because the weave is the same way. He can go from topic to topic. Which is why I think we work so well on the podcast. Just because we can constantly be talking about something. But first and 10-inch shotgun, where are we going to go with this? Uh, we're going to roll out to the right side and try to find somebody open. And we're just going to take off and get this first down and get out of bounds. Okay, 15-yard gain. Hopefully this game we won't need to run for like 200 yards or whatever the heck I did. Wait, I don't even remember what series that was in. Was that in one of the live streams with Baker or was that in this? I don't even remember. It might have been in both. Uh, let's let's go ahead and use some extra plays. Let let's run that uh, screen pass right there to P Ryan. Okay, first and ten, in shotgun, mixing in the backfield, and that's exactly where we're gonna go with it because it's a screen play. Don't have a whole lot of option, and he gets inside the twenty yard line and is brought down after a four yard gain. Okay, second and six. Um, gonna go ahead and run curls. Who's that in the slot going to the end zone? That's Micaiah Quick. Hopefully he can catch because that's where I'm looking. 
Come on, quick, get open. Okay, I don't, I don't trust that throw. I do not trust that throw. And I did get away from that defender. Now we're off to the races inside the 10. Five, fighting and knocked out at like the two-yard line. A 17-yard game. Okay, sorry, I did have to do a jump cut there. I was replying to a text message because uh, I wanted to make sure that one wasn't important. And I needed to reply and said I'll get back here in a few minutes. But first and goal, Riker Sterling and shotgun. There's the snap. And roll out to the right side. Come on, someone. Ah, I tried to, like, lob that over the top there at the last second. And um, I really hope you can't hear that stupid alarm clock that we have. Wait, was I injured? I guess I was. Who's in the game? Is that Baker? All right. I guess I was injured. But Baker and shotgun on first and goal. Who's in the back? Is that P. Ryan or Mixon? Doesn't matter because Mayfield's keeping on a read option, and he's getting stuffed at the two-yard line. Second and goal. I'm still not in the game. This is stupid. Why am I not in the game? I guess I ran too much. But Mayfield and shotgun. That's P. Ryan in the backfield. You can tell because how big he is. And on second and goal, they give it to P. Ryan and touchdown sooner. 7-0 lead. I would have liked to have been on the field, but I will definitely take that. And I'm going to take a drink of water because I can feel my throat going dry. Which then leads to voice cracks, which are annoying at 20 years old. Which, by the way, would you guys be okay with me changing my YouTube name? I don't really know what I changed it to. It probably I, I was thinking like TK Sports because I'm 20 years old with a username of Teenage Night. It's kind of weird. But first until we're getting the ball at the one yard line. Yeah, we're just going to give it to P. Ryan and see if we can get out of this situation. Okay, Sterling and shotgun P. Ryan in the backfield. There's the snap. Hand off up the middle. And he's got about a six-yard gain on the play. Second and four. Okay. Now air raid under. Samaje has two carries for nine yards and a touchdown. So his first carry of the day was a score. Second and four. Baxter on the outside. Meade in the slot. Quick in the slot. And Westbrook going deep downfield. Um, I would throw that to Westbrook, but we need to get out of the end zone. Okay, break that tackle, get the first down, get out of bounds. Eight-yard gain. And now we're out of danger, see? That play worked. I wanted to go deep to Westbrook, but that safety actually did his job pretty well, so. Sets so up first and ten, about a minute 48 to go in the first quarter. Westbrook on the outside. Going to run a slant route, and please get open. Oh, that was almost real bad. That was almost real bad. I waited too long on that. Had I thrown that about a second sooner, it would have went in between the two linebackers and would have been fine, but waited too long. Second and ten, inch shotgun. There's the snap. And come on, someone get open, someone get open, someone get open. Please, someone. All right, we're lobbing that over the top. Jump ball. There we go, Dimitri Flowers, and he's down to 40. Wait, Flowers is still here? I thought Flowers graduated. I would have sworn that Flowers graduated. Sorry, I had to get another drink of water. Okay. So I set up another new set of downs, which I'm fine with. And who's going deep on this play? That's going to be Jeffrey Meade. And on the outside is Baxter. So our number one receiver, which is D.D. Westbrook, is not in on this play. And Westbrook would have burned that guy, but Meade is not as fast. And I, I saw R1. I clicked R1. I just got hit. And I held the ball way too long that time. That one was my fault, but I did see R1. Before anyone tells me that Orwin was open in the comments at this time in the video. Second and 19. Snap, and we're going to take off. Come on, throw a block. Okay, well, he threw a block, but not to the guy I wanted. I wanted P. Ryan to turn around and throw a block to the guy behind him. I could have juked out the other guy. But third and five inch shotgun P. Ryan in the backfield. Quick on the outside. Is anybody even covering Micaiah Quick? Well, we're just going to send him deep just in case. We'll see if anybody's covering Micaiah Quick. Uh, yeah, someone went and covered Makai quick, but left Baxter wide open. And Baxter got a three-yard gain. Fourth and two, we're going for it. We're going to be risky. Okay, I called no huddle, but I guess we're not going to go for it. I held down triangle. That's supposed to be no huddle. I guess Coach Stoop said no. First and ten. In shotgun. Or no, not shotgun. This is pistol. Need to learn my formations. Um, there we go. Right there. Caught by D.D. Westbrook first down. That was kind of risky because of the safety. But it worked out. It's okay. 14-yard game. 7 of 9 for 83 yards. I don't even remember what my stats were from last week. I know I had, like, quite a few rushing yards and some touchdowns. But I think I also had, like, three turnovers. Which obviously isn't good. Come on, get out of my way. Nope, not you. And I, I tried to juke him out. But 
can you still juke out whenever you're the quarterback in the backfield, like with the right stick? I don't even know, because they had that, like, QB avoidance thing that they added that one year. Where, like, you could do, like, a hesitation step, but no, I actually want to juke. I wish they'd put that in the game. Um, right there. God dang it, at least throw it away whenever I hit the button. Makes it third and 23. Now, last year we almost lost to Tulsa because of my seven turnovers. And I think we won on a field goal or won in overtime or something. Right? Like, it wasn't a fun day. And then I had someone in the comments, like, uh, tell me to cancel the series before I embarrassed OU. Just throw that way. What is it about Tulsa that they play good against me? Like, if I'm not recording, like, because I've said before, I have had dynasties off recording. And whenever I play Tulsa, they did not put up a challenge. Even in the Road to Glories I've had off recording, Tulsa did not put up a challenge. But if I'm recording, Tulsa becomes ridiculously good. First and ten right there, D.D. Westbrook down inside the five. Of course, as soon as I say they look really good, they let up a 20-yard slant route. Okay, first and goal from the five-yard line. Let's say, can we just, like, run it with P. Ryan right here? I feel like that'd be the best option. But I don't want to burn an extra play. We've already burned through four, and it's only the first half. First and goal. Take the snap, roll out to the right side, and come on, throw a block. Okay, we got out of that. We got out of that. Throw to the end zone. I, I contemplated throwing that away. And that's exactly what I should have done. Okay, first and ten. I try to be Baker Mayfield too much. I've noticed that. I try to run around and make way too many big plays and then just throw to the end zone. I have no idea how half those throws work for Mayfield. Like the one against Tennessee in real life where um, like he scrambled around for several seconds and then found Pirine in the end zone. I have no idea how that play worked. 28-yard game. Luckily, our defense is playing well today. I think last year against Tulsa, they played like crap. And with me doing seven turnovers and then them playing like crap, almost resulted in the loss. But he's wide open downfield. Please don't overthrow. Okay, Jarvis Baxter to the house. Touchdown, Oklahoma. 14-0 lead. 10 of 14, 190 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. Okay, defense. All right, keep the shutout going. I will try to do my part of keeping the shutout going by not giving them good field position. First and 10, a minute and a half to go in the half. And where are we going to go with this? Where are we going to go with this? I don't like any of these. Yeah, we're just going to take off. And thank you for that block, but you also ran into me. And I fumbled. Who recovered that? Okay, good. I think D.D. Westbrook came up and recovered that. I need to up the carrying really bad. I think our carrying's at like 70-something. So anytime it pops up, I need to start upping that. And right there over the middle. Nope, bad throw. Okay, thank God he can't catch. Forget how fast the safeties are in this game. And Madden, that's a 20-yard gain right there, 30-yard gain. But I forget how fast the safeties are in this game. Second and 10, inch shotgun. There's the snap. And roll it to the right side, please. All right, first down on the play, easy, and get out of bounds. Wow, we stiff arm two guys to the ground there right after the play, 17-yard game. Nine carries for 61 yards. We are once again turning into the running back. Kind of interesting. It's going to be interesting to see how many rushing yards I have at the end of my career. But first and 10, and pistol, there's the snap, and right there, wide open. Touchdown, Jeffrey Meade. 41-yard touchdown pass. I was afraid that that DB was going to react to it. But I'll take a 21-0 lead before halftime. Can we get the ball back one more time before halftime? No, we cannot. And then our defense lets up a touchdown to start the second half. So the shutout is now dead. Which sucks, but... You know, we still got the lead. As long as we don't lose that lead, I'm fine. First and 10. There's the snap. Oh, God. No, what... I don't know what I was doing on that play. That was, that was dumb on my part. Horrible blocking along with me making a dumb throw. That almost resulted in a pick six. Second and ten. In shotgun. There's the snap. And come on. Come on, come on. Someone get open, please. Dang it. Don't start doing this, guys. Don't fall apart now. Third and ten. In shotgun. Snap. And right there over the middle. Caught by Jeffrey Meade, got the first down. 19-yard game. How many receptions does Meade have? Meade has four for 104. I'd say he's having a pretty good day, including that bomb. First and 10. And can I just send quick deep? I want to see if uh, that DB or linebacker or whatever it is can keep up with him. 
Uh, no, they can and he is wide open. Inside the 10, breaks a tackle, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Micaiah Quick. 28-7. to And we're over 300 passing yards now. Maybe that's what I need to do. I need to use quick speed to my advantage. I mean, I've been trying to do that all season. That made very little sense. But whenever they put someone like that on him. And we're just going to run this read option. See how well it goes. And I don't really like the way it's setting up. But we're going to go up the middle and get the first down. Okay. Normally I go to the outside. But there was nobody in the middle of the field. And I had blockers. So Now first and ten. Where is, is Quick on the field here? No, he is not. Okay. First and ten. Inch shotgun. Snap. And holy crap. Roll out to the right side. And we fumbled. What? No, we were down. There, no, we were down. There is no way we weren't. I want a challenge on that. There is no way we were down. I mean, there is no way that we weren't down. Really? They're not going to challenge that? Hold on. Let's look. If I can figure out how to work the dang camera. Let's, let's look at this. Nope. We were not down. Okay, sorry defense, gave him good field position, and they immediately scored. Alright, first and ten, 20 seconds to go in the third quarter. And out of shotgun, there's the snap, and just roll out to the right side again, and we got sack for loss of two. I can't stand in the pocket against any team. Apparently I overestimate how good my offensive line is. Because I just like stand in the pocket and then I'll try to step up and take off and I always get hit. Um, is there like a deep route we can go here? We'll, we'll see what's here. If Quick's on the field. Because I want to test out Quick's speed a little bit more. This is definitely the team to be trying this stuff. Oh yeah, we can't audible. Duh. I was just thinking, yeah, we can audible once we get out there. But I forgot that we can't audible yet. And we do get the first down. That's a gain of 17. How many rushing yards do we have now? Because they, took a, they take away rushing yards whenever you get sacked. So we have 76. Man, left, man, left. First and 10, five and a half minutes, or about five minutes. Yeah, about six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Only up by 14. We should probably be winning by a lot more against this team. But we're just going to take off to this side of the field where there's one safety. Duke him out. And oh my god, we fumbled again. Get him. Come on. We fumbled again. That's the third time. Now it's a one-point game. Or a one-score game. I know I need to slide, but why am I fumble? Is Like, does the rain actually cause fumbles in this game? Right there over the middle. God dang it, I'm making stupid throws again. I'm being stupid here in the last quarter. Okay, second and ten. Just need to calm down. Make good throws. Run down the clock a little bit. Second and ten. Roll out to the right side. Get away from me. Yeah, just take off. Slide. Okay, we got the first. We just need to score on this possession. I don't care if we score fast or what. We need to score on this possession. First and ten. Who's all out there? Flowers, Mead, Westbrook, Baxter. Okay. I can deal with that receiving core. Right there to D.D. Westbrook. First down. 13-yard gain. And I know I'm not chewing a whole lot of clock. I just want to score. I don't care about chewing clock right now. I just want to get into the end zone and see if our defense can get us the ball back without letting them score. And just throw that one away. Rolled out to the wrong side again. No one on that side of the field. I don't know why I rolled out that way. Second and ten. It's like they're leaving. Like, I guess their corners are playing zone, but it looks like they're spying the quarterback with corners. Because they just stand there until I run. And do not fumble again. Okay. Okay. Eight yard gain. So it's up third and two. Can we just give it to P Ryan? I guess we'll run this read option because that's the closest we're going to get to giving it to P Ryan in a short yarded situation, I guess. And yeah, just give it to P Ryan. They actually read me. And P Ryan fights for the first down. Okay, three yard gain. I wish there was an option to choose some clock because, like, you can't. Like, I think I talked about this in the last video. You can, like, choose to um, accelerate the clock in Dynasty mode, but you can't do it here. And we we should probably start chewing clock, right? 
I feel like we probably should. I'm going to take another drink of water real quick, but we're going to let this clock run down a little bit. Because now we are at least in field goal range, so we can at least make it a... We're getting close to field goal range. We can at least make it a two-score game. And right there to Mixon where he loses two yards. You can't break one tackle, Mixon. That's all I ask of you right there is to break one tackle. And, oh, that's quick. We're going to send quick deep. We're going to send Makai quick deep and see what happens. If I can get him in the end zone, then great. If I can't, oh well. We will dump it off to P. Ryan or we'll take off and slide the second we cross the first down marker. Second and 12. Here we go. And snap. Okay. They actually covered him pretty well. We're going to take off. Do not fumble that football. There we go. Nine yard. He tried to strip that ball out. That defensive back was going for the football. Third and four. We are in. I don't know why I said it like that. We are in field goal range. But we can't chew the clock here. They called a timeout. Third and four. Please get that first down, Samaje. Samaje, break that tackle. Okay, here. Uh, Bob, what are you doing? Bob, why are we going for it? Why can't we just kick a field goal? Why do we need to risk our great... Like, is this too far for Cyber? That's a 47-yard field goal. He should make that. Third and five. Right there. Caught by Flowers. First down on the play. And he might go to the end zone. He's breaking tackles. Still breaking tackles inside the five. And he's down at like the one-yard line. A 31-yard gain on fourth and three. How many tackles did he break on that one play? Because he was determined to get into the end zone. They stopped him like one yard shy. But look at that. He juked out like three defenders right there. Catches a key block, I think, from Westbrook. And my voice cracked. But then he breaks a tackle here. Gets a key. That's where I thought he broke another tackle. He got a key block from Meade. And then broke another tackle. And then finally got dragged down at like the two yard line. Where did his? Where was the ball whenever the, whenever his knee touched? His knee touched like right there. Look how close he was. His knee touched like right there. Look how close he is to the end zone right here. That's like less than half a yard. And no, we are just going to give it to Samaje. I don't care about my stats right now. I just want to win. First and goal. I've already thrown like what? Three touchdowns today, so it doesn't really matter. Two touchdowns. First and goal. Hand off to Pirine. Up the middle. And wow, we got stuff. Well, we can chew clock now. Thank you. Um, sure, I'll run a QB draw. We'll see what happens. I swear to God, if I fumble the ball on the one-yard line. Second and goal, we're going to let this clock run down to about a minute. And then we're going to take the snap. And hopefully they can't score two touchdowns in two minutes. Because they could score a touchdown very quickly, get the onside kick, and then score another touchdown very quickly. But let's hope our defense can play better than that. Okay, second and goal. Here we go. Snap the ball in about four seconds. Three, two, one. One snap. And power your way through. Wow, we got stopped at the like one inch line. Third and goal. We're gonna be able to chew off more clock. I mean, I know the strategy isn't normally like to let your opponent score, but in this situation. I mean, we should we should probably just be kneeing it, honestly. I just realized that. We should probably just knee the ball down. <laughs> but no. If he doesn't get in here, I'm going to call no huddle so we can just run down the rest of the clock. But we've won, essentially. Five. I don't like having two years in a row of really close games with Tulsa. But hopefully we won't see them again. And touchdown, Samaj J.P. Ryan. Makes it 35-21 with 15 seconds to go. And there we go. Final score, 35-21. We do get out of here with a victory. That was kind of scary. Um, a couple... Just unfortunate plays like the fumble were like the three different fumbles. There's nothing I can really do about fumbles except for raise my carrying, I guess. The first one was recovered by D.D. Westbrook, so it wasn't that big of a problem. The second one was a strip sack, and there's really nothing I could do about that. I think that was like that's just a defender, I think, at that point. And then third... Uh, the third one was probably my fault. I should have just slid rather than juked out that safety. But, I mean, we get out of here with victory, so there's not too much we can complain about. 14-point victory. Probably could have been by a lot more, but 
No, I'll take the win. We still have to play a couple ranked opponents, so we can still move up in the rankings. But let's go ahead and take a look at some stats for this game. Okay, so we went 17-26, 352 yards, three touchdowns, and a pick, which was a dumb, dumb interception. 65% of our passes were completed. Along of 61, we were sacked five times. A lot of that could be cut down if I was more of a pocket passer, probably. Uh, rushing, 18 carries for 116 yards, 6.4 yards a carry. We did not get into the end zone today. P. Ryan, 5 carries, 13 yards, and 2 touchdowns. Receiving-wise, Meade, 4 catches, 104 yards and a score. Um, Baxter, 2 for 60 and a score. And then Makai Quick, 2 for 70 and a score. So all in all, they played pretty well today. Um, but let's go and see who we are playing next week. Okay, so we moved up 1 in the rankings to number 7. And next week we play Iowa State, who is 2-0. and And who are they picking to win this one? Not really a shocker. Um, we can go see if there's any good skill upgrades. Come on, give me carrying. Oh, look, we actually have carrying there. Maybe that was there last week, and I just didn't pay attention to it. But, uh, yeah, just go ahead, just go ahead and up that. We'll up our acceleration, too. Um, what was I going to look at? Oh, yeah, top 25, Heisman Watch, stuff like that. So the top 25, uh, number one, still Notre Dame, then Florida State, then Oregon, Georgia Tech, LSU, Arizona, Oklahoma, Mississippi State, UCLA, Ohio State, where's Texas? Texas, all right, West Virginia is now the second highest ranked Big 12 team. Texas, Kansas State's now the second high or the third highest ranked Big 12 team. Texas, guys, this is a oh my god, they lost to Kansas. You lost to Kansas? You've got to be they lost to Kansas by two touchdowns. And now watch, they're going to screw me over because the second highest ranked Big 12 team is West Virginia. That's who they play next. Texas is going to win. And then I'm going to end up playing a bunch of people that are ranked like way down here, like in the 20s. You've got to be kidding me. Well, that one loss Tennessee might end up really screwing us. Uh, UCLA is still not ranked higher than us somehow. Um, I don't think we're going to the national championship this year. Our only hope was for Texas and West Virginia and all of them to stay highly ranked whenever we played them. But I don't see that happening now since Texas just lost to Kansas. Um, we have to play Texas in two weeks, then West Virginia, then TCU, Baylor, K-State. So we have a bunch of ranked games in a row. There's a chance for all of them to move up in the rankings. <laughs> let's, let's just hope that happens. Kansas is 3-0. Maybe they're not bad in this game. Maybe no, they're not bad here in the second season. Um, and then who's Iowa State played? They beat Iowa and Toledo. Wow, they stomped Iowa. And then they play us, then Oklahoma State. Yeah, it doesn't really matter about the rest of it. Um, let's go check Heisman Watch to see how we're doing there. I feel like we probably dropped. We only had like three touchdowns. Nope, we're still winning the Heisman race. We're going to win it two years in a row. I'm, I said at the end of the freshman season, my goal, after I won at the end of my true freshman season, my goal was going to be to win it every year. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I'll talk to you guys next time for the Iowa State game.